exponential and logarithmic functions. So, Just thought you'd like to see what laws of growth and decay. We went over the growth and decay formula right there before in uh, 5.1 and 5.2. Um, that's what the initial quantity is. That's the rate that it goes up. Um, and there's the time in years. So we went over that already. Um, the initial bacteria count in a culture is 500. A biologist later makes a sample count of bacteria in a culture and finds that the relative rate of growth is 40% was the estimate count after 10 years. So the initial is 500. The growth is the rate of 40%, which is 0.4. And uh, how much in T hours of 10. So I plug that in. And you end up getting about 27,300. So it started at 500 and it grew so quickly that there's now over 27,000 bacteria. In example two, a certain breed of rabbit was introduced onto a small island about eight years ago. The current rabbit population on the island is estimated to be 4,100 with a relative growth rate of 55,000 per year. So here's your problem. Boom. We start with a population at 4,100, and it grows at 0.55 and 8 years. So what is the initial size? So we want to figure out um, the current rabbit population. So what did it start at? So it's actually 4,100. Sorry, it's not going to be here. That's what our answer is. Okay, so we want to find out what it initially started with. That's 4,100. So e to the 0.55 times 8 is what I'm going to divide both sides by to figure out what we initially uh, started with because this is saying what it is now. We want to know what we started with. So there's about 50 rabbits. And the reason why I rounded up to 50 is because you can't have a fraction of a rabbit. So you can't have a decimal there. So what it means is that the population first began with 50 rabbits and then we're supposed to estimate the population 12 years from now. Uh, from now. So if that's what it started with, now that I know what it started with, I can plug everything in with a 12 because I know what the initial population now was. And 12 years from now, the population of rabbits would be in the millions. 2,993,707. We went over half-life already. It's the time that takes for things to cut in half. So it's decaying. So uh, half-life is 140 days. Suppose a sample of this uh, substance has a mass of 300 milligrams. So we know the initial uh, is 300, but we don't know R or T. But here's a formula for finding that. Here's how you can find R when you're talking about half-life. It's the natural log of 2 over H. Okay, so H is what exactly? H is the half-life of 140. So the rate is the natural log of 2 divided by 140. And this is a common formula for you to remember. Okay, got to remember this formula. This will help you find the rate in some of these half-life problems. So natural log of 2 over 140, which is about 0 0.004 for um, R. So because it's half-life, that means decay, which means the rate is going to be negative. It's going down. So make sure you put a negative in there because it's half-life and it's going down. So it's negative 0 0.00495. And we started at 300. So... Um, after one year, you just put a one in there. Um, but we're talking about uh, T, I guess they want it in terms of days. So I guess that's why, since this half-life is 140 days, that's why we used T as 365 instead, because otherwise um, we would have to switch this rate um, of 140 for the half-life into terms of years as well. So to keep everything the same, that's why I put 365 in there for days to make it all the same. And it would be about um, 49.256. I'm Ron Burgundy. Example four, population of a city in 1970 was 153,800. Assuming that the population increases continuously at a rate of 5% per year, predict the population in 2010. So this is the population that it started with in 1970. I know the rate is 0 0.05 in 2010. So uh, that's why I'm doing 
um, the number of years difference, which 2010 from 1970 is 40 years. So I'm going to plug a 40 in there, and we figure out that the population should be 1,136,437. Yummy! So example five, the number N of bacteria in a certain culture after T hours is given by this formula. Now, I want to get T by itself, um, but in order to do that, I need to get that two by itself. So I'm going to divide both sides by that thousand. And when I do that, now I can get T all by itself because now, um, I can do log base 2 on both sides to get rid of that, to switch it to an exponential. So we get log base 2 um, with uh, n over 1,000 equals t. Think of the fun you'll have taking Barbie and Ken on. Newton's law of cooling states that the rate at which an object cools is directly proportional to uh, the difference in temperature between the object and its surrounding medium. Newton's law states um, that this is the equation, and we want to basically uh, express little t, so that means get little t by itself. So in order to get little t by itself, I need to divide both sides by that 75 first. And then remember the opposite of e is natural log, so I would take the natural log of both sides. So the E and natural log cancel. And then to get little t by itself, I would divide both sides by that negative 2. And there's your answer. And if you wanted to, you could write it as negative 1 half times the natural log of the temperature over 75. Um, assume that a population is growing at a continuous rate of 4% per year. Approximate the amount of time it takes for the population to double in size. Um, so to double in size, remember, um, the reason why I'm saying this is it doesn't have to be this setup. If you have 10 people, it'll double at 20. If you have 5 people, it'll double at 10. If you have 100 people, it'll double at 200. So the point is when you take those two numbers and you divide them, you're always going to get 2 as your answer. So by double... What they're saying is you can just naturally divide that Q, the initial, out anyway, and it will always give you 2. So it's always going to be a 2 over there when you're trying to find out how long it takes to double. So then uh, the rate they said was 4%. So E, um, the opposite is natural log. So I take the natural log of both sides. Those cancel out, so I get 0.04T equals the natural log of 2. Divide both sides by 0.04. And I get T equals about 17.32 years. Example 8. Um, we will finish, uh, try to finish 5.5 when we come back.